Post game for the San Diego Sockers with Cheeky Luna after a 13-6 win over the Tacoma Stars. Cheeky with his biggest game of the year. Three goals and two assists. Uh, Cheeky, tell the fans first about all the hard work the Sockers put into training preparing for this game. I saw this morning here in, at, Stor at Starfire Sports Complex how much you guys put work into the power play set pieces. Boy, it all came through today. Um, you know, the last few uh, the last few weeks, really, we've been uh, concentrating on power plays, uh, free kicks, and we know that's going to be the difference, you know. We know we have talented players. We've been focusing more on trying to play as a team, for one, you know, trying to play simple, play together, and the other big thing is making sure our power play is effective and our free kicks, you know, because we weren't being effective earlier in the season. Um, we've been working hard at practice. This morning, you know, we walked through some of the stuff. We couldn't walk through everything because some of their uh, people were out here watching. But, you know, we walked through some things, and, um, you know, it's starting to show. Our work's starting to show out there. We're starting to be effective. This team came into tonight's game uh, a, a little bit shorthanded. I mean, a full complement of 14, but guys a, a little bit nicked up. Uh, and I thought it was very interesting in, in the pregame huddle, head coach Phil Salvaggio said to the team, leave it all out on the pitch today. And you guys played high pressure from minute zero to minute 60. Yeah, you know, right now we're getting to that point in the season, you know, about halfway through the season where, you know, you just going to have some guys banged up. Um, Right now, we're, we're pretty banged up, at the back especially. Uh, you know, we have a lot of defenders out. We lost another defender today, Dan. Uh, he's been, you know, battling a, a bad growing injury. And, uh, I mean, I know quite a bit about those from being out last year with one. And, you know, it, he's working hard to get back, but it's a tough one to come back from. Um, you know, you have other guys. Uh, Brian O'Connor, he's been out for a while. Uh, uh, you have Krause out, you know, right now. So we're banged up you know, at the back, and uh, you know, where, what Phil's coming from, you know, he's saying, hey, let's take it a game at a time. If we want to keep winning, we got to approach this game, make sure we take care of this game. We'll worry about tomorrow. Hey, whatever personnel we have, you know, we're, we're good enough to try to adjust and deal with it. This game, I thought, was very interesting in terms of a, a very loose whistle on the field. In fact, neither team was called for six team fouls over the course of the entire game and that led to a lot of free flowing action. I think it really showed the difference between a team like Anaheim that comes out and tries to bully you guys and foul you and foul you and foul you and a team like Tacoma that's willing to just kind of play a, a more sportsmanlike game. Um, yeah, they, they did a good job. It got physical out there. Um, I think the, the refs did a good job. They let us play and they let us, you know, hit each other quite a quite a bit. Um, there was some calls that I thought, you know, we looked at the ref expecting a call, even a blue card, and they just let us play. So they, you know, they, they let us play a little bit more. And it's traditional of the, the Northwest soccer. It's a little bit more physical. Um, you know, you get bigger guys out here, just, you know, faster guys. And, you know, we did well to adjust to the soccer. And, you know, we, we played around it, did well. And, you know, when you mention a team like Anaheim, there's a little bit more of a, a rivalry there. So anytime, you know, you're up, up by a few goals, you can expect to, to get banged by, you know, Anaheim's going to try to hit you, TJ's going to try to hit you. And it's just, you know, because it's a little bit of a rivalry. Uh, Tacoma, you know, like you're saying, they, they let you play a little bit more. And they do hit you, but, you know, it, it was a free-flowing game, like you said. On a personal note, uh, your best game in really a couple of years, three goals and two assists, and uh, those free kicks are something that really help you get, get things going, huh? I mean, that's something that used to be Paul Wright's domain, but now he's in Anaheim. You're getting the chance to stand over those free kicks and, and, and making a lot out of it. Uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's getting to that point of the season. I'm starting to feel like I got legs under me. Um, you mentioned Paul Wright, you know, playing with him. You know, I learned quite a bit from him, you know, watching him at practice, watching him in games. Um, and, you know, you learn from uh, such a good player, experienced player. Um, so, you know, a lot of things that I do now was, you know, it all comes back from watching him, you know, do stuff at practice or he'd take me aside and say, hey, you know, give me little tips and pointers. And, you know, by no means am I trying to fill in his shoes, you know, Paul Wright's on a whole different level. But, you know, if I can help this team by stepping up and hitting a free kick, you know, here or there, um, you know, I'm happy to do that. Cheeky, great game and a big game for the Sockers. They advance to the final of the U.S. Open Cup on the western side. Good job. Thank you.